Welcome back to Trade in the Market. I'm James and in today's video we're exploring the Atomic Bomb Strategy. It's a bold and calculated approach to second half goals trading. Now I want to make this clear, this isn't a strategy I personally use, but it's one that's caught my attention. I've backtested it using refined filters and parameters and today I'll walk you through how it works, the updated results and how it's executed. If you've ever wondered how to approach second half goal markets with a disciplined data driven edge, this is the video for you. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe and let's dive in. Right, let's break down the atomic bomb strategy. This strategy is designed to capitalize on second half goals by targeting matches with a strong statistical backing for late action. So here is how it's structured. Let's start with game selection. Start with matches that meet this criteria. A minimum of 8 games played for reliable data. Second half 1.5 plus goals percentage over 60% and the goal timing filter set to 15 minutes between the 46th and the 60th minute and this is set to 15% or more. These filters ensure we're focusing on games with a higher probability of second half goals. Next is the draw odds filter. Pre-match draw odds above 5.0 are essential. Why is this? Well, higher draw odds typically indicate an open game where one team is expected to push for a win, increasing the likelihood of goals. The strategy's focus is on matches with at least two goals scored in the second half. This is where the real profit lies. Now let's talk about how to execute the atomic bomb strategy. It's all about timing and calculated entry points. So when do we enter? We enter the market at half time, but only if the score is nil nil and this is according to the strategy. Now with the filters we have in place, we can bypass this scoreline and trade any half time score. Next, we want to split our stake. So we split our total stake into two parts. So the first part would be 70% on the market, two goals above the current score. So if the score was nil nil, this would be the over 1.5 goals market and the remaining 30% on the market, three goals above the current score. So again, if the score was nil-nil, this would be the over 2.5 goals market. This allocation is designed to balance risk and reward, giving you coverage for one goal while maximizing potential returns from multiple goals. If a goal is scored early between the 46th and the 60th minute, you have two options. Option one, you green up, secure your profits by cashing out on both markets. And option two, you can lay both markets reinvest your stake to create a risk-free trade, allowing you to capitalize on additional goals. Now, before I jump over to the simulator to show you how to execute the trades, let's first take a look at the back-tested results. We applied these filters to a total of 67,120 matches, narrowing it down to 872 filtered games. And here's what we found. 555 successes, matches where two or more goals were scored in the second half and 317 failures, matches with fewer than two goals in the second half. And this gave us a success rate of 63.65%. These numbers demonstrate that this strategy has potential when the filters are applied correctly. However, execution and discipline remain critical to maximizing its effectiveness. Now let's talk about the odds. At a success rate of 63.65%, the break-even odds for this strategy are around 1.57. To give yourself an edge, the market two goals above the current score aim for entry odds of 2.0. And the market three goals above the current score line were looking for odds of 5.0 or higher. By entering at these odds, you position yourself for both immediate returns and long-term profitability. Discipline is key here. By sticking to these odds and filters, you're not only relying on the strike rate, but also ensuring you're taking trades with positive expected value. And that's how you build consistency in trading. Now, I will quickly show you how to execute the trade using the football simulator.
So what do I think of the atomic bomb strategy? Well, it's bold, it's dynamic, and it has potential when executed with precision. The backtest shows that by adding Jarawad's filters and focusing on specific second half goal trends, we can refine the strategy even further. That said, no strategy is perfect. Game selection is critical, and patience is non-negotiable. This is not a strategy where you can force trades. It relies on carefully chosen matches and disciplined execution. Would I use it? Well, it's not in my portfolio right now, but it's an intriguing approach, especially for traders who thrive on late game action. If you're considering it, I'd recommend testing it thoroughly by paper trading or with small stakes before going all in. Now it's over to you. What do you think of this strategy? Let me know in the comments if it's something you'd try or tweak. And if you like this type of content, give us a like and subscribe for more strategy reviews and insights. I've been James, this has been The Atomic Bomb, and we are all trading the market. Until next time, happy trading.